with the Peckett and McNabb. Mike Howard gives a wave to somebody in the crowd on the Sports Motorcycles Ducati. Barry Ditchburn having his first ride on the Mocek Honda. Then the familiar uh, striped helmet of former world champion Phil Reed. We've got John Williams who's taking over Tony Rutter's uh, Mocek Honda, the machine which was leading the championship. And that's Asa Morris on the far side. And they a big wheelie there from Phil Reed as the pack go off at the start of this race. A lot of four strokes are in this thing, the four strokes dominating. It's Asa Moyes. Asa Moyes, the 23 year old Londoner, a very, very stylish rider, very much underrated by a, a lot of road racing fans. Heads the pack round Gerard's bend in this 20 lap Mr. Top Formula One race. And uh, certainly Asa in very good company there, a lot of overtaking on the braking there. Interesting to see how these big bikes cope on those twists of the S's there where Barachina had a few problems. And going into the hairpin, it's Asa Moyes in the lead, John Cowie in second place, and that's Phil Reed there in third spot. Cowie trying to get to grips, and it's Ray, Phil Reed now moving up into third spot. Barry Ditchburn there in fifth position, and the pack comes sweeping round. Uh, uh, round Devil's elbows, Asa Moyes, John Cowie, Phil Reed. Well, Asa Moyes still hanging on to this lead, and we're trying to pick up Mike Harewood. Asa Moyes in the lead, John Cowie in second place, Phil Reed in third spot. There's Mike Harewood. Mike Harewood in fifth spot at the moment. John Cowie in the lead on the uh, uh, 984 Kawasaki. Under pressure from John Cowie, though. John Cowie, who lies in third place in the championship. And Phil Reed right on their tail. There's Harewood there in third place. Mike Harewood on the uh, Sportsman of the Cycles Ducati overtakes uh, number 15, that's Steve Manship. And it's a whole gaggle going through, and it's uh, Reed in the lead. Phil Reed takes the lead at the hairpin. John Cowie now in second place. Ace of Boys in third spot. And six riders come sweeping down Devil's Elbows. Phil Reed, John Cowie, Ace of Boys, Mike Harewood, Steve Manship, Barry Ditchburn, and uh, Chas Mortimer there on the uh, Augusta Suzuki. So it's Phil Reed on the Works Honda in the lead from John Cowie in second place. In third spot, it's Asa Moyes, the man who led the race. Phil Reed on the Works Honda, this machine blew up in the Isle of Man. Phil admitted that he had to keep redlining it, that's taking the engine to maximum revs in a bit to stay with Mike Harewood, and it was just too much. And Mike Harewood going up into third place there. Mike Harewood overtaking Asa Moyes, but Asa Moyes has the inside line, has to break hard though, and Harewood dives across the front wheel, and it's Reed in the lead from John Cowie, and Mike Harewood there in third spot. A tremendous ride by Mike Harewood on the Ducati. It's Phil Reed from John Cowie, Mike Harewood, Asa Moyes, Steve Manchin, Barry Ditchburn. Reed then ahead of John Cowie. John Cowie on the Pekinen McNabb Kawasaki. Phil Reed on the Honda in the lead. So we've got Honda in the lead. Kawasaki in second place. And Ducati written by Mike the Mike, Mike Harewood in third spot. Three laps gone then in this 20-lap uh, battle. And certainly Harewood got plenty of time to get out front. And in fact, Harewood already closing the gap. Harewood closing the gap on those three men. Well, can Mike Harewood win again here at Mallory Park? Certainly, I don't think there's many people in the crowd who don't want him to win. Phil Reed in the win, John, in the lead. John Cowie in second place. Phil Reed there, getting closer to get. Asa Moyes. Nose to tail. You see the riders just flip the throttle as they change down one, as they peel off into Gerrard's. And Mike Howard right on the tail of John Cowie. And I suspect that Mike Howard is loving every moment of this race. Phil Reed in the lead on the Works Honda. John Cowie in second place on the Peckett McNabb Kawasaki. And in third place, Mike Howard on the Sports Motorcycles Ducati. And Howard, smooth as ever, go through the S's in absolutely magnificent style. And you feel that he could just swoop past this to get any moment. Reed in the lead, John Cowie in second place, Mike Howard there. Mike Howard, 38 years old, retired from Tom Class Motorcycle Racing in 1967. Went to cars, had a very bad accident at Nürburgring, which put him out of car racing. And look at these three, almost side by side. It's Reed, Cowie and Mike Howard. Howard there, right off the tail, but not 
not just on the tail of Cowie, almost alongside him, riding Pillion, in fact. And it's Reed, still from Cowie, still from Howard. Going through the S's. Five laps completed. They're on their sixth lap of this 20-lap race. And it's Reed on the Honda, John Cowie on the Kawasaki, and Mike Hellwood on the Ducati. And Mike tries an outside line. It's Reed, still Cowie, still Hellwood. And Hellwood tries the. I thought he was going to go on the inside of the Devil's Elbow. I just would never have believed that. It's Reed, though, in the lead. Cowie there in second place, and Mike Hellwood happy and comfortable there in third spot. I don't believe for one minute that Mike Hellwood is extending himself. He looks as cool as a cucumber, absolutely glued to the rear tyre of John Cowie. Well, Mike the Bike, a lot of people say that Mike the Bike, Mike Hellwood, is the greatest motorcyclist, greatest road racing motorcyclist the world has ever seen. And I certainly wouldn't argue with them to come back to the Isle of Man as he did and win the, the Formula One another world title to add to his collection, another TT victory to add to his collection. And I strongly suspect that we're going to see Mike Harewood win this one too, right on the tail of John Cowie and Phil Reed. They sweep round Devil's Elbow, all chin on the tank, everybody means business here. Nobody fooling around, and those first three men pulling away from the rest of the field. Phil Reed in the lead, John Cowie in second place, and Mike Hellwood in third spot. Hellwood sitting there comfortably in third spot. Seven laps completed there on their eighth lap now of this 20 lap race. And Cowie closes the gap on Reed, in fact. John Cowie in third spot in this championship battle, eight points down. On uh, and 10 points down, in fact, on the leader, Tony Rutter, who's missing from this race, of course, injured in TT practice. And Ron Haslam, who's in second place, he's out too, after taking a tumble this morning in the uh, practice for the 125 Honda Championship Series. Nose to tail, Reed has a look over his shoulder, and they're still there. And it's Reed and Cowie. And Cowie takes the lead. John Cowie dipped through superbly around the outside of Phil Reed to take the lead, and I strongly suspect that Howard's going to do exactly the same thing in just a few moments' time. Watch Howard, and Reed in fact. Reed looks as though he's going to have a go, but keep your eye on Howard, because I don't think Howard is going to wait around. If Cowie can go past Reed, so too can Mike Howard. That's the philosophy I think Mike will be adopting. Mike, of course, living with his wife and family in New Zealand at the moment, and I suspect it was boredom more than anything else that prompted him to return. It's Cowie, though, in the lead now. Reed in second place, and Cowie just pulling away just a fraction from these two men behind him. Mike Howard's going to make his effort any minute now. Mike Howard right on the tail, and Howard goes through, I thought he would. Mike Howard goes through into second place. A real scrap now for the lead. It looks as though Reed's Honda doesn't handle quite as well, and Howard's going to have a go on Cowie now, on the exit for Gerrards. It's Cowie in the lead, Mike Howard thinks better of it. Nine laps completed, they're coming round to the halfway stage in what has been an absolutely superb race. John Cowie on the Kawasaki, the Packet McNabb Kawasaki, in the lead from Mike Howard on the Sports Motorcycles Ducati, and in third spot, Phil Reed on the Works Honda. And then, although uh, Mike's not likely to ride in many more of these championship rounds, and these other guys are very, very keen to score some championship points, I'm sure there's nothing Mike would like better than to go back to New Zealand with a win here at Mallory Park under his belt. Ten laps gone, the halfway stage in this race. John Cowie in the lead. Mike Howard in second place. Phil Reid in third spot. And those first three men having pulled well clear from the rest of the field with Asa Moyes in fourth position, Steve Manship in fifth spot, and in sixth position, Barry Ditchburn riding the other Moshek Honda. And if Howard going to have a go at Cowie, is he? At the hairpin? No, he's not. He looked as though he was going to have a go. Cowie's still in the lead. Mike Howard right up his exhaust pipe.
11 laps gone, nine more laps to go. And Kawa then, that new caddy handles superbly. The packing McNabb Kawasaki twitching a little bit, going into uh, the S's, but Mike Harewood's by, and Mike Harewood on the inside. Will he try to pass on the braking for the S's? Kawi stretches the lead a little bit down the step straight, and Harewood comes back again on break, on the braking. There they go, the first three men through the S's. John Cowie in the lead. Phil, uh, Phil Reed in third spot, being dropped off a little bit, though, by this two-man scrap for the lead. It's Cowie and Harewood, and the fans urge Mike Harewood. If someone could get out and push him to go faster, I think they would. In for Gerald. 12 laps gone, and Harewood takes the slightly wider line, then comes back. No, he doesn't. Maybe he's going to have a sprint down the outside, and he's alongside Cowie. He's ahead of Cowie. Can Cowie hold it off? He has. Yes, Mike. No, he's not. Mike Harewood takes him on the braking. Oh, superb riding there by Mike Harewood. Outbraked John Cowie going into the S's in absolutely masterful fashion. Mike Harewood on the Ducati in the lead now ahead of his younger rival. Mike Harewood, 38 years old, and the fans like that. They're pleased to see Mike the bike out in front. Mike Harewood then in front. And he takes a glance over his shoulders and grandstands on both sides, rise to their feet, and they wave their hands in their programs. Oh, and the Peckin and McNabb Kawasaki twitch there. John Cowie trying very hard to stay with Mike, and I think Mike's going to go away. Mike Harewood beginning to stretch that gap there now. Mike Harewood down the steady straight. Changing down now, braking for the first right-hand sweep of the S's. That bike over, not on the limit by any manner of means. Mike certainly not scratching. Goes through on the inside of one tail ender, pulls back to take Shaw's hairpin. A very tricky corner. The hands go out and wave. He'll be coming round to complete 14 laps now. Six more laps to go. Mike Harewood and John Cowley. He's not giving up. Phil Reed there in third spot. Well, I think words can hardly describe this performance by Mike Harewood. Mallory Park is one of the most difficult, tough, and testing scratching circuits on the, the, the British mainland. It's 1.35 miles in length. If you blink your eye, you lose a fifth of a second, and a fifth of a second can be the difference between winning and losing a race. And Mike Harewood has come here today and shown his younger rivals just what it is, what super riding quality he's got. Mike Harewood on the Ducati leading this race John Cowie still there in second spot, and that's all credit to John Cowie. But Harewood has really thrashed the pants off the entire entry. Phil Reed now, something like 150 yards down on this leading pair in third place. And uh, on during the race, we've lost Asa Moyes. Asa Moyes has gone missing. Up into fourth spot has come John Williams on the other. In fact, we haven't lost Asa Moyes, he's just been passed by three or four riders, so that's a uh, false alarm there. And Hellwood now, out now, on his 16th lap. Hellwood going into the hairpin for the 16th time. He'll have completed 16 laps. And the fans still wave and cheer, give him some encouragement. yellow flag out at the uh, exit from Gerrard's. I don't know who the faller is, but uh, as soon as we know, we'll let you know. And it's still Mike Howard on the Sports Motorcycles Ducati, peeling off for that right-hander, then the left-hand twitch using all of the road. Ducati handling absolutely superbly, and Mike looking, really, for all the world, as if he's just going down the road to post a letter. Mike Howard in the lead.
coming round now to complete 17 laps and then he'll have just three more laps to go and he's pulling further and further and further away all the time now from John Cowie the lead now two seconds and round Mallory Park where the record lap stands at 48 seconds two seconds is an awful lot of time and an awful lot of road Mike Hellwood in the lead and uh, behind it's still John Cowie, Phil Reed, John Williams is there then Barry Ditchburn and moving up is Steve Manchip and dropping down another spot is Asa Boyce Mike Hellwood though the man in picture, the man leading this race coming through superbly I spotted him early on in the race in fifth or sixth place and he chopped pass riders taking them on the inside and the outside passing them on the bends and down the straights coming down now 18 laps completed two more laps to go less than two minutes racing John Cowie trying very very hard to stay with Mike but there's just no chance of him getting back ahead and still the yellow caution flags go out for that tumble on the exit to Gerrard's and you can see the gap now between Mike Howard in the lead and second place man John Cowie and John Cowie will be happy to go through in second place score 12 points to take his uh, total to 38 and that's going to take him into the lead in this Mr Tom's Formula One Championship we're coming round now for Howard to start his last lap and still the programme's wave though concentrating on the job in hand and that's another lap to go Mike Howard in the lead in Ducati sounding absolutely superb the bike hasn't twitched or moved an inch Mike Howard with the same line every lap lap after lap round Gerard Beck a really superb performance takes a glance over his shoulder and still gets down on the tank Mike Hellwood on his final lap and on his way surely to victory in this Formula One race taking Shaw's hairpin accelerates away changes up, changes up again peels off left the chequered flag's ready the flag goes out for Mike Hellwood and Mike Hellwood has won his comeback and the grandstands go wild the crowd on their feet and cheering and this is a very very popular win superb win there John Cowie in second place and Mike waving to the fans as he goes round Gerrard and the fans wave back to him John Cowie an excellent ride in second place third at Phil Reed fourth is John Williams on the no check and Howard waving programs being of no 